special summer cooking series continues tonight with a sweet breakfast treat from a guy who never used his kitchen prior to shooting this segment. The man, the myth, the legend, Craig Stevens, shares a special family recipe from his Aunt Dorothy. Check it out. Muffins are on the menu. Let's grab a bite. The chef, the man, the myth, the legend, Craig Stevens. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow. He's over at the Storm Center now. Phil? He's my TV partner here in the Newsplex, bringing you all the latest you need to know. Still ahead here from the news station. Obviously, we all know Craig's a super talented journalist, but can he cook? I probably have not spent this much time in the kitchen since uh, seventh grade home ec. Uh-oh, not to worry. Craig's Aunt Dorothy is helping us out with the dish we're making today, her famous blueberry muffins. When we were kids, she would recruit all of the cousins to help her. She would uh, make batches and batches of them. It's warm, it's delicious, it's comfort food. And now Craig is gonna give it a try with Aunt Dorothy's blessing. If you can read, follow directions, you can cook and you can bake anything. Ooh. Yeah, good luck with that, Aunt Dorothy. One prerequisite that I had is that uh, it's very easy to make, and in the event I run into a problem, call me if anything is unclear. First, we start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees, and then we find an apron. Now, you can probably tell it's never been used. Oh, there's still a tag. How about that? We'll just get rid of the tag. Why can I just hear Naray laughing right now? That's because I am laughing. I know your kitchen skills. All right. Prep a muffin pan with baking cups, then add all-purpose flour to a sifter and get to work. I'm surprised he even owns a sifter. Like the fancy sifter I found? Now, add sugar and baking powder. So I was going to use the baking soda I had, but I thought, is there a difference between the baking soda and the baking powder? Duh! Of course there's a difference. Now, add salt and whisk this all together. You do have a whisk, don't you, Craig? I think I have a whisk. Wait a minute. Boy, this is a whisk, right? Ha! It's a whisk. Now for the wet ingredients. Add eggs. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we got it in there. And stir well. Crisco is next, but Craig got shortening instead of the oil. I knew it was going to do that. Okay, time to take advantage of my lifeline here. Let's see. Aunt Dorothy? Craig! Thankfully, Aunt Dorothy takes over. Do you have any oil? Let me see. Craig manages to find some vegetable oil. Hopefully it's not expired. And he adds that in with milk and mixes it up. Now he makes a well with the dry ingredients. And you're going to pour the liquid ingredients into that middle. Now blend. You just mix for a while with the spoon, a big spoon, until everything is incorporated. Vanilla extract is next. Then fresh or frozen blueberries. You're looking good there, Craig. Forget bite with Belkies. We're going to start calling it cooking with Craig. Yeah, OK, sure. <laughs> now, pour it into the baking cups. And from here, we toss them in the oven. Bake the muffins for 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. When they come out of the oven, stick a toothpick in. And if it comes out clean, they're ready to eat. Craig likes his served up with a nice cup of hot coffee. See, Craig, you did it. You can cook. What I learned is if you just follow the recipe, take your time, um, it can come together. I may, may give Bella a run for her money, maybe. Bravo! Unlikely. He did it, you Unlikely. guys! He did it! And nobody got sick when I brought them in. You know what the best part is? You're, you're scooping everything with this little, tiny little teaspoon. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he's got this, like, macked out, super duper, beautiful Cuisinart or whatever mixing gadget on his counter because nice. it looks good. Not quite the but, he, but he's never used it, but it looks good on his counter. But, but, but like Aunt Dorothy said, just read it, follow directions, and minus that Crisco problem. People said problem, the muffins were good. Nobody got sick, and the counter didn't burn down. Conveniently, the day he brought the muffins in, <laughs> yeah. I was off. I made sure he gave them away real we'll quick. We'll get back to those muffins yeah. at a later date. It was fun, though. Good work, and no kitchen Thank fire. Thank you. Yes, yes. We did not need to call Miami Fire. <laughs> Woo.
Uh, and I'm going to try it again. We'll see. Bring in, bring them in.